Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Nick Collier here, and we got the ram in place. The, the single pin is up above. Everything's all set up up there. It took a, a bit, and of course I didn't film it because, um, I don't know, I lost the camera, and yeah, there are tons of excuses. Uh, but it's in place, and it's ready to go. Now, the next step in this whole process, I'm going to bring you in a little closer for that. Okay, and, and uh, by the way, I pulled the, uh, the uh, clevis off of this side, and when I pulled it off, I mean, it came off super hard. I literally had to have a about a six foot steel bar out on the end and I was just like leaning on it in order to get it to pop. When it finally popped, it took all the threads with it. Damn. But whatever. We can adapt, adapt to that. So I've got it. Now I've got a three inch piece of uh, 8620 coming three inches deep. That's going to give me a platform to push down up with and the 8620 will heat treat very well. You know, I can heat treat it or not heat treat it, really, because I could replace it fairly easily. At this point, what we have to do, the, uh, the uh, uh, hydraulic ram is, is perpendicular to the room. Now, the problem is, is that it pendulums. So we somehow have to get this thing locked in place so that it, uh, it'll stay in one place right in the center and push down and not end up flipping off to one side or the other. So that's, uh, that's going to be pretty easy, I believe, but uh, you can never can tell. We're going to bring you in a little closer for that. So we're going to take a plate of steel, and I have that plate. I just uh, found it just a few minutes ago. A uh, little piece of quarter inch, well, maybe might not even be quarter inch. But all we're doing is holding it from going sideways. So that's uh, no problem. So I think what we're going to do is take this plate. Can you see it? No, you can't. All right. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll talk about this a little bit. We're going to come in with this plate and cut a piece that's going to push up against the roundness of this and maybe even hold this a little bit too because we've got just a little bit of movement that way too. You can kind of see it. Uh, so basically it's going to be a clamp that's going to clamp to this cylinder. Now, let's go down below and uh, see what that's going to look All like. All right, this is the way I see it. We're going to come in halfway and cut that piece of steel in half. And then, in fact, before we cut it in half, we're gonna do a, uh, a hole, uh, either bore out the hole or something, that's ex the exact size of the ram, and then uh, cut out the notches for the, for the bolts, and then come in and cut it in half, and uh, probably figure out some way of clamping these two halves together uh, and then bolting that in fact we already have a couple of bolt holes so we'll just put a couple more bolt holes here and here and here and here and that'll hold it to the frame of the uh, press and then uh, some kind of probably some kind of clamp here you know maybe a bolt nut sort of thing um, yeah, I'm not sure just yet uh, but on both sides, uh, so it will be here and here, that will clamp into that uh, circle, make sure it gets, you know, uh, grips the uh, hydraulic ram, and then set this up and bolt it to the frame, and we're set to go. And we'll be back. We'll start out by laying out the circle and drilling a hole in the center, and then I'm not sure how we're going to get this to cut out. Maybe uh, put it on the rotary table. Maybe just uh, do a, um, let's see, what would be easier? The rotary table probably be easier because I've got to put these notches in too. And I could, I could calculate those notches uh, easier with the table. So we're going to go ahead and put the rotary table on here. And... Uh, We'll be back. Well, no, you can watch. Hey, it's a rotary table.
There it is, back in the corner. Well, you can't see it quite yet, can you? Let's back up a little bit. There it is. All right, so we're going to bring it around. Okay, well, since accuracy is not super critical here, we're just going to go point to point up on the, uh, the head and uh, just bring them up so they line up, and then we're pretty well set. Uh, all we're trying to do is get a hole in here that at an exact uh, circumference or diameter, and uh, it doesn't matter where it's placed on the piece of steel because all of that's going to get dealt with once we start drilling holes in the in the press. Okay, so we're looking for a size, and we're going to bring this, uh, this caliper out and drag it in until it starts to rub, and it's just a little bit shy of rubbing. And then I have a fine adjustment in here. Where is it at? There it is. Oh, we got to go a little bit further. There we go. And we got a pretty good measurement right there. Let's use that. All right, uh, and again, we're not going for super accurate here, so a set of veneer calipers will probably do the trick. Just going from one point to the next. Oops, I just opened it up. Huh, that's interesting. Oh, I didn't tighten it. Okay, I'm going to go back over and measure it again. All right, there's our measurement. Bring our veneers in. I'd say that's about it. So we're looking at 4, 3, 30. All right, so that would be 
to 150 and 15 right there and we're going to take that out to about right there and scribe it I think I better mark it better here All right, so there's our line. Well, the other thing we can do is take it out on the DRO. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Well, first thing we're going to do is come out and drill a hole fairly close to that line, just so we can get our, our mill bit in there. So let's take that out. Need to come down a little further. Somewhere in there. Okay. Back up. And that puts us in a better position. Okay. Now we just start around. Nick Collier here, and uh, it's a new day. Uh, I think it's a Sunday. Cold as hell out, but uh, hey, we're excited because uh, we're going to have this bracket done today, and uh, and have that uh, the hydraulic system kind of locked in fairly tight. So uh, what we need to do is we need to cut uh, reliefs for the. Um, the bolts that are holding the uh, the ram together and uh, I measured them and it's 5 8 so I've got a 5 8 uh, mill here and I'm going to take it just a little bit wider than 5 8 uh, but uh, 5 8 by what uh, we're going to go in uh, almost an inch 
uh, and then uh, and that's going to happen in four four segments. Um, yeah, it'll be fine. So uh, let's just get started. Okay, stick with me. We're going to have some fun. So I've taken the um, rotary table and I've run it 45 degrees off. So that gives us uh, kind of a, a, a 45 degree rotation. Uh, and let's just get started and see what we can do. Okay, let's rotate this. All right, let's see that. 180 minus 45. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the we've got the star pattern in there. Now what we need to do is relieve it so that this one side can slide in over the bolts and uh, and make it. So uh, I have to go measure the bolts a little bit, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, it looks to me like the bolts are exactly parallel with the I mean, just by a few thousandths with the, um, with the diameter of the, um, whoops, this one's a little bit more. So we're looking probably at about 30 thousandths. And this side doesn't matter because the plate's going to slip on this way and this way, and it's going to bolt together like that. So, uh, we got about 30 thousandths to cut, so uh, we'll go over back over to the mill. Okay, so we're going to get the rotary table to rotate back over. And this is going to be our cut line right here. So, this is what we want to cut off. And I think we're going to do it the other way. Let's take it uh, from 135 to another 45. There's 10, 20, 30, 45. That should do it. Now, what we want to do is we're going to come in and just cut this section right here. Get rid of this stuff so that this plate can slide on and still get around those bolt heads. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Let's give it a go. Now I think what I want to do is leave a couple of cleats in the center now that I think of it so that it pushes up against the uh, the ram itself. So we're going to just leave a couple of bumps right there. We'll give that a try.
Okay, so we've got some pretty sharp edges here, and that last thing I want to do is catch my finger on one of them. So we're going to uh, go around the perimeter and kind of dullen these edges down a bit. So now we want to take and we're going to come up with a couple of blocks of steel of some sort or another with a little distance between them. Uh, oh no, no distance between them. They're going to be sandwiched together and we'll weld them to the plate and then we're going to come in behind that and cut this plate of steel and separate the two and then these two uh, pieces of steel will be our index to make sure that everything's nice and tight. So, uh, we're going to go find a couple of pieces of steel. We'll be back. We're going to drill a hole right through the center of each of the four of these. Uh, tap it and uh, countersink it and then uh, and put some Allen bolts in there. And I centered up the, the, the vise and centered and put a stop on the uh, on the vise and we're all set to go all I need to do now is change out my bits we're gonna start with a fairly small bit just because I'm using my good ones and I don't wanna trash them so we'll trash the small bit and go from there. Except that's traveling way too way too slow. That well, might be okay. Yeah, it'll be fine. Take it to a 5 16 Well, actually, uh, I think a 17 64 Okay. All right, looks pretty good. We got her drop down in there. So let's do the next one. All right, let's run a tap down that hole. All right, looks pretty good. And with just a little bit of knocking around, I think this thing could square up.
That looks pretty good. So we're going to tighten it up now. And we haven't got an exact perfect uh, surface there. So we're going to put it on the mill and, and surface that. And then we need to come in and relieve uh, just a little bit of the uh, inside edge. I'm going to draw that for you so you can see it. Uh, we're just going to relieve just about that much so that when we come in, once this thing is on the plate, once this thing is welded to the plate, and we're going to weld it that way, that there's a little bit of room in there so I can get my saw in there, cut that thing in half, and then drop that away. Can you see that? Not real well. There we go. Uh, so there's a little bit of room in there so I can cut that in half and then both sides will drop away and this surface here will be my index. Well good morning Nick Collier here uh, and it's a cool um, almost January morning. This is December 31st 2015 um, and you know yesterday I'm going through the files of videos that I took uh, maybe a month or so ago when I began this project and uh, and I don't know once in a while I don't know if this happens to you or not but once in a while my computer will it won't lose a file it'll put it somewhere else now if I just had a few files it'd be no problem but I have thousands of files so uh, I don't know it just disappeared and uh, so I have one entire day of this project that is somewhere in my computer and I'll find it six months from now or a year from now, but uh, for now it's not there. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little backtracking and I'm going to show you where I went so that uh, there isn't a big gap between what happened a few minutes ago for you and what's going to happen. So uh, hey, stick with me. We're going to have a good time. All right, so you left, we left you off with getting ready to install this thing. And so now it's installed and you can see it's good and tight, very secure. We uh, 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 drilled and threaded four bolts on either side and then put uh, these two retaining bolts in. Oh, that's right. Yeah, uh, you didn't see the welding of this or the splitting of it. Oh my God, you didn't see a bunch of stuff. So uh, it's in, it's solid. It's not going anywhere, and uh, that's that for that. Now, the next thing we did was, uh, you know, and I decided I wanted an absolutely flat bottom here. So uh, the only way to do it, I couldn't put a bolt and a nut in there. So I had to drill the plate and thread it and then run a, a, a stud. And I used a, a, some short pieces of all thread, uh, run an all thread in there and and Loctite it and then come in with the with the nuts on top of that to get this locked in Okay, so I think we're back to where uh, we're gonna take off again and uh, hey Okay, so We've got our motor mounted Now what we need to do is get the pump mounted to the motor now. Uh, we've got this plate of steel here We have drilled a hole in it and that's all ready to go. Um, so what we need to do, and we're going to hook up to this Joy Love connection. But, oh, well, I don't know. It's... Oh, I see. Right. Yeah, we've got this big long sleeve here. I knew there was a reason. <clears throat> so we need to go from the shaft, which is right here, to the female side of the, or the one side of the Lovejoy connection. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, there we go. Okay, so. I think what we need to do is, well, you know, it's fine because we've got adjustment here. We're not going to weld this plate in until we get this thing all hooked up and ready and in place and adjusted this way and this way. And then 
will come in and weld the plate in. So for the moment, what, we're, look, what it looks like we've got is the end of the shaft is sitting right at the plate. Uh, I think that's going to be just fine. So then we can measure from here to the Lovejoy connection. And let's see if we can get something to measure with. So we'll just kind of drop our scale in right behind here. We're going to open up our calipers far enough. Um, you know what? I think I'd better just take this thing off. We run our uh, scale across here. We make sure our Lovejoy connection is in place. And we come in and measure the distance between the plate and the end of the uh, connector. And we got three and three quarters. All right. So we said from here to here is two and three quarters. Right? Now, the depth of the lug joy is ah. one inch fifty thousand so let's just say one inch and that gives us a little bit of room on the end play one inch and then the depth of our motor shaft is Uh, one inch six hundred thousandths. All right, that looks reasonable. <laughs> 